Gilead is from Sidi Bouzed, an impoverished province that was ground zero during the revolution. It was here that street vendor Mohamed Bouzizi's desperate act of self-immolation triggered an uprising across the country. Today, Sidi Bouzaid is making headlines for different reasons. Hayat's remarkable innovations in chemistry. Working from home, she achieved her dream with minimum funding. If a researcher at the age of 27 or 28 has to take money from his father, this is a huge burden. Especially with a lack of support from the Ministry of Higher Education or State. Even if there's a scholarship, it's very minimal. With less than 1% of the country's GDP going to scientific research, Hayat relied on her parents for financial support. After gaining a PhD in applied chemistry, she began to win prizes for her innovations. In 2008, she was recognized as a top researcher in Mediterranean countries by the EU. She won a gold medal at the 2013 International Inventor Olympiad in Tunisia. The percentage of researchers is very high in different fields. But to be able to accomplish their research, they need to do it through partnerships between Tunisia and other countries, because there's a lack of developed equipment here. Because of the lack of resources and facilities, Hayat had to do her research with basic materials. She even used some from her father's small farm to do experiments. One of Hayat's recent projects is on developments to phosphoric acid, which could have economic and environmental benefits for her country. She aims to inspire other researchers in the Arab world facing similar constraints. <laughs> Like any researcher in the Arab world, we face red lines which you cannot cross, especially in the field of chemistry. This was for sure the case before the revolution. You can't work on uranium or extract it or use it. With the current political instability, Tunisians face an uncertain future, but Hayat remains optimistic that she at least can bring about change through her research.